This video is on vulnerability scan types. To conduct a successful vulnerability scan, you're gonna need to schedule it during the time when it will impact the operations the least. Ideally, you should scan once a month, but if your network infrastructure is highly dynamic, you may need to do it weekly or even daily. Scans can be done in multiple ways. They can be done internally or externally, and they can be credentialed or not credentialed. They can be an agent or agentless scan, and be passive or active. They can also be static or dynamic and can be done in segments. Internal scans are simply conducted within a company's network, while external scan is done outside of the company's network. And external is done to ensure there's no way for hackers to get into the network by scanning from the outside. Internal scans all the devices from within the network with privilege to thoroughly identify all the vulnerabilities. Agent is when you have a software or SOAR installed on individual machines that sends back information to the central point while agentless requires the request. Agent-based is better but more resource intensive. But agentless is more ideal for a dynamic environment and bigger network. Credentialed is also known as authenticated scan while non-credentialed is known as non-authenticated scans. And as the name implies, authenticated scan is more thorough and requires a login for privileged access for deeper scanning. Unauthenticated doesn't use credentials and rely on external information and probes to identify vulnerabilities. Authenticated scans help comply with security standards and regulations like PCI, DSS, or HIPAA, while unauthenticated scans don't. However, unauthenticated scans are good for quick scans to mimic how an attacker would usually try to scan. It's critical to have a great baseline in a dynamic environment. Security baselines assessments help you continuously monitor organization's security baseline compliance and identify changes more effectively.